Okay, I'm going to make this quick little video to show you how to get an RPM measurement on the PicoScope 6 software. By default, it doesn't come with an RPM measurement tool and you have to turn that on. So I'm going to zoom in on this waveform here. And I have a crankshaft position sensor and two camshaft position sensors that are being picked up on this waveform. And of course, you probably know that to get RPM, we need to base this on the crankshaft position sensor. So I'll pull my two ruler, rulers out and mark off one revolution of the crankshaft. Now normally, your frequency and RPM would appear right here in this box, and sometimes it takes a little while to appear, or sometimes it doesn't appear at all. If that's the case, just simply zoom in and zoom out, and usually that number will appear there. If you have a, a scroll wheel on your mouse, just scroll up and scroll down, and that will help that number to appear. Now you'll also notice that RPM does not appear here, like it does in the automotive software. But that's not a problem. That can be turned on. Just simply go up here to Tools and Preferences. And then on the Options tab, come down here and click on that box to enable RPM measurements. And you'll notice that my RPM will appear here. Of course, RPM is just 60 times the frequency. Whatever the frequency of, of this part of the waveform that we have marked off here is, that cycles per second and RPM is basically cycles per minute.